What's up, y'all? So how a viral TikTok video almost got a husband caught up. We about to get into this video. You dig what I'm saying? Y'all make sure y'all tune in. Make sure you grab your snacks, grab your drink, grab your smoke, and let's get into this video. You dig? Right now. Let's get it. Hurry up. <laughs> What's up, y'all? It's your girl, Nick G, the host, and today I'm back with another reaction video. Before we go any further, make sure y'all like, comment, subscribe, and share this video. You dig what I'm saying and what the goddamn hell y'all leak. So, uh, of course, y'all need to see it on the screen to tap in. You dig? So, let's do that. Now, <laughs> the Shade Room has their own investigation news channel going on right now um which honestly i'm not gonna lie i think it's dope um because they can probably help some of these couples or <clears throat> they gonna kill them um the shade room doesn't necessarily make things better for everybody so we gonna pray that this is one of them situations that um you know a married couple not breaking up but anyway let's get into it a TikTok entanglement. He was very flirtatious, so let me see like, if I could maybe find him. This woman wanted to find a mystery man she met on the beach. She found him, all right, and his wife. He's now clearing things up with the shape room after it nearly ruined his marriage. I'm Justin Carter, this is TSR Investigates. <laughs> Justin Carter, this is TSR Investigates. <laughs> uh-uh, that's, that's given copyright. I say that's given cop. I say copyright. We don't need your music. Um, Misha Renee went on TikTok asking the world to help her find this mystery man she met in Miami in August. But things got messy when the world collectively found out. I mean, it's given. Y'all, that was thirsty. I'm not going to lie, but all right. Who he really is. Eight million people watched Misha Renee's TikTok with the caption saying, quote, TikTok, help me find this man I met in Miami. He walked right in the ocean to introduce himself. Eight million people. Can you imagine? To me, I was lit when he gave me his number. I'm counting on y'all. Hopefully he ain't married. The only reason why I did it is because I was on TikTok and I seen the popular trend that was help me find him. It was just simply oh. just to reconnect. It wasn't anything more. Oh, but he is You're married lying. for six years. In fact, with four kids, I tracked him down. This mystery man is Aiden Giles from the Detroit area. Now, I tracked him down. I gave his name and everything. NBC and ABC. He had no idea the video was posted at first. It was his <laughs> wife, Cherie, who says somebody text her about oh, the video. No. We just immediately started arguing because I started immediately started cussing him out. Like, bro, you really got me messed up. And I kept asking, I said, did you sleep with her? He nope. said no. So she messages Misha directly. I said, did you sleep with him? She said, no, we literally only met at the beach and that was it. So I'm like, well, you looking for him this hard, obviously it was something to y'all. She's like, is that your man? I said, not no more, <laughs> not anymore. <laughs> and then she was like, um, if you don't mind me asking, like, who are you? I said, that's my husband. She says Misha apologized immediately and their message- No, Misha shouldn't have to apologize. If he walked up to her, <clears throat> you know, I don't know what his intentions were, so let me not just put that on him. But he walks up to her and Clearly for him to have a wife, he shouldn't have been doing none of the shit that was in that video. He shouldn't have been touching this woman at all. So I got to hear more. Just saying, quote, sis, I'm sorry. I had no clue something would happen. I wish the best for you and your kids. I won't be reaching out to him. I told her, I'm like, sis, you can have him. I'm good. It was disrespectful. It was. was it cheating? No, it was not cheating. No. But it was it disrespectful was. because was you're a married man. It's certain ways you It move. was definitely, it was cheating. That was... I get it, right? He flirted a little bit. Cool. I get the flirting part. You didn't have to touch her. You wasn't supposed to touch that woman at all. You know what I'm saying? What's up, shorty? Damn, you fine. If I would, I could, but I'm married type shit. I get that. But you wasn't supposed to touch her. When it's definitely certain ways you don't. I did not know he was married. Had I known he was married, none of this would even be a thing. It would just be like, okay, let's move on because right. if the shoe is on the other foot i would be pissed 
You'll be mad. Because yeah. Ada, you know, everybody is looking and you know, not the only you're a good looking guy, you got the mu the Miami muscles and you hugging her tight. And so everybody is looking at that. Come on, I'm making it work. And and that's it sucked because I knew the video looked so bad. And I told her I wish I could put you in that moment because it was nothing like the video made it look. Lie. From her point of view, she said that that video looked exactly how it was supposed to look. That's why she was reaching out. Please find this man. <laughs> you asked her for her phone number and invited her after. And then she also said that um, she lost your number. And that's why mm -hmm. she looked to TikTok to try to yeah. find you. Yeah. Honestly, no. She didn't have my number. She didn't even have my real name. I didn't even know they were recording either. So it, that threw me way off. Mm -hmm. <laughs> All right, Cherie, you rolling your eyes. <laughs> because you shouldn't have to know if you're getting recorded or not. Because it's hard to say you don't you don't know someone's recording you and you posing for a camera. Didn't. Oh. I posed for the picture. I didn't it's pose crazy. for the camera. The because and the pick and the pick was an innocent pick. I feel like it was in his understand what you're saying. I'm not even about to get back. Girl, bye. I, nigga, if that was if 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 his wife did that shit, I will say, you know. This will never happen. I want to say dudes should calm down on a, you know, y'all can do it, but y'all women can't. Fuck that. I ain't going to talk to y'all because y'all don't listen. Women, do what they do. I ain't going to lie. You might have to deal with, <laughs> you might have to deal with them hands, but that's why you should be legally applied for. Okay. Legally protected. Okay. Because if in the event he tries to touch you, then you know, by any means necessary, you got to put a dog down. You know, they got tranquilizers out here for those type of people. But he shouldn't have been touching her. And had that been his wife, he would have lost his damn mind. On that topic. So, he yeah, she kicked mind. me over the head. I get it. It was disrespectful mm -hmm. for my marriage and my wife. I get it. But in my head as a man, I'm kind of like it was so little and innocent. Like, babe, it wasn't nothing like that. Cherie says it took weeks to figure things out and truly understand what happened that day. I know what type of man I married. I didn't marry a cheater. I would have never married him if he, he was a cheater. Um, but after talking to my parents and praying with them and just trying like wrapping my mind around it, I, and I kept saying like, I don't want to make an emotional decision, just oh, it's a permanent decision off temporary emotions. Cherie realizing how a nine second video on TikTok can change everything. She and Aiden will be starting counseling next week. Did you suggest the marriage counseling because of this situation or would you have chosen to do this if this didn't happen? This situation, it definitely, it broke the trust I have for him. So I suggested it. Aiden, what have you learned? I just don't know how, uh, um, I'm not against, you know, counseling and stuff like that, but when somebody like, really break your trust and i don't mean something minor I, i'm talking about like some some you know cheating and like you just like bro <laughs> i, I want to go to a counselor to help me trust again i just don't see how that i what have you learned sir oh the number one thing if you are a married man please keep women six feet away from you on any beach possible okay i won't um other couples and married couples just to see how all this unfold. Whatever y'all go through, if y'all strong enough, y'all can get through it. You know, like if you strong enough, put God first, you can get through it. Aiden says he's never been a cheater. There's never been infidelity within his marriage. Like he is either in a great Airbnb or he is at his house. Either way, that's a nice background. He does say that he is excited almost for- Almost look like a green screen. Might be. For counseling and his wife, Cherie says he really doesn't have a choice. For TSR Investigates, I'm Justin Carter. Uh-uh, we don't need your music. Listen, y'all, um, that's a terrible situation. Uh, I hope he learned his lesson, you know what I'm saying, and, and play his cards right, or hopefully she can forgive, and he'll never forget, but hopefully she can forgive him. You know what I'm saying? And that's just really all I have. I'm done with this video, man. Love y'all. Appreciate y'all. Hell yeah.